Hello friends, I'm here with another update on a multi-day fast I'm doing, which I didn't expect to be doing. I came home last Sunday and my little brother and me both listened to the same podcast where Kevin Rose and Tim Ferriss in their latest random show mentioned that the most effective way to uh, get health benefits from fasting is to do three consecutive fasts for three consecutive months. Uh, so for three months, basically for the first week, do a multi-day fast. And as I come home last Sunday, he looks at me and says, I think it's 30 days ago that we finished our last fast, isn't it? So the spot, we decided to do another one. Uh, now, as you know from my previous fast video, uh, we had been using pure MCT oil uh, to see if we can get our ketones up uh, to, uh, to a very decent level in, in a short period of time. While that worked, there was a lot of gastrointestinal discomfort, basically belly hurt a lot. Uh, so we're trying different, uh, different forms. In between, we've tried to add fibers, but uh, I basically came to the conclusion that pure MCTs is not very nice on an empty stomach. Uh, and as I've read online, a lot of people even uh, experience discomfort if your stomach is not fasted. So what we're doing this time is we're doing something called a fast mimicking diet, but a keto version. Uh, so some of you may be aware of uh, Dr. Longo's research in the fast mimicking diet, which is basically a way to eat where your body mimics the uh, state and health benefits of fasting without actually having to eat nothing. Um, the way that they do it, however, doesn't really uh, create a state where you can enter ketosis very quickly uh, because they don't consume a lot of fats and they consume carbohydrates. And basically from what I understood from the podcast, uh, I might put the link in the, in the YouTube video, um, is that if you follow the pure fast mimicking diet, also called FMD, uh, you're not going to hit anything higher than 0.5 millimolars of BHB ketones. Um, we, however, are using a different protocol. So we're using coconut oil and butter twice daily. Uh, in the morning, I take uh, what I like to call a bulletproof matcha, uh, which is basically uh, hot water, about 30 grams of coconut oil, about 20 grams of uh, grass-fed butter. Uh, blend it with matcha powder uh, and it tastes pretty nice. Uh, just make sure when you do this that you get some decent matcha powder, not the very stringent uh, cheap stuff. Um, and then at night we use a broth, uh, which we had to specifically uh, pick out because a lot of the supermarkets, at least here in the Netherlands, all the little broth cubes, they have sugar in it and all sorts of stuff. But we found one that is uh, low in sugar, basically no, no added sugar, uh, so that it doesn't interfere with our uh, ketogenic uh, targets. And then I basically do the same with the broth that I do with the matcha. So 30 grams of coconut oil, 20 grams of grass-fed butter, put in a broth, blend it, and you start to get a frothy comfort food kind of thing. The total amount of calories don't exceed 800 uh, a day. Uh, so we're staying quite low, uh, which is sort of within the bounds of the fast mimicking diet. And I'm now on day four, and I am going to test my ketones right now uh, to see what the results are. Now, this device is called the Precision or the uh, Optium Neo, sorry, that's not the precision one, it's a different one. Uh, and basically, like you're a diabetic, you prick your fingers and uh, put some blood on it. I am a bit of a wuss when it comes to needles. Um, so if you're like me, by the way, and uh, don't like needles very much, it helps if you sort of twist it against your finger and then press so you don't really feel the needle at all. Um, it's funny that I'm afraid of needles considering the way that I lead my life uh, with all the testing I do. All right, you grab a little drop of blood and Put the blood on the stick. The reader takes about 10 seconds to get its readout. Um, note that, I got a little bloody finger here, but if you're trying to test ketones, you want the purple uh, strips, not the blue ones. The blue ones do glucose. They're a bit more expensive, but oh well. And here we go, our results. All right, so it's day four and we're at 5.2 millimolars of uh, BHB, beta hydroxybutyrate ketones. Um, so I, I gotta say, that's a, a nice level. Um, so yeah, that's the update. So in summary, uh, we're doing another five day fast. This is day four. We're using quite a high dosage of coconut oil and butter, so not pure NCTs. And funnily, actually, these levels are higher than what I uh, achieved using pure MCTs. And I was using quite a high dosage, about 50 to 100 grams a day as well back then. So I think the conclusion from this is that in my future fasts, coconut oil and butter are uh, going to be what I'm going to be using. All right, if you've got any questions, uh, put them in the comments. I try to read everything and, and, and reply. Uh, if I don't, you know, like I'm, I'm slow. I try to prioritize uh, other things than emails and, and comments. But, you know, it's nice to uh, have conversations with friends and strangers on the internet sometimes. Anyway, so have a nice day and see you probably in a, a couple weeks or months for another update.